gonna be a stormy one tonight in Nashville. Hey guys, we are at Bridgestone Arena tonight. We're walking in right now. As you can see, it's about to open up uh, the skies at least. And, and so uh, we're gonna kind of get in the building. But tonight, Nashville's playing Detroit. Uh, they won on Tuesday night. Playing again tonight, we'll see if they can win. Here's what we're looking at though, is Nashville has suddenly been playing well. And uh, they've put themselves in a place where they could actually make the playoff. With a win tonight, there, there's a good chance they could be in a playoff spot by the end of the weekend. So we're going to go ahead and, and head inside, watch a little bit of hockey, and see if they're still playing well enough to maybe make the playoffs. Follow along. We're about to get started on warm-ups. Here we go. Sorrows gets the start for Nashville. Can't go to the glass because of this. I had this mouse pad as a kid. Here's the thing, on the way up here, I smelled the spring air. Normally, this time of year, we're thinking about playoffs. Uh, so, uh, let's make the playoffs. This glass that's not, I don't know if you can see it well on the camera, but it's up in the stands because there's no glass behind the penalty box. Makes it really difficult to see because of the refraction and reflection and stuff like that. So anytime anything's happening like down in here, it's really difficult to see because of the glass, which is a pain. That's why we like stuff down here. Got some action going on down here. Oh. Cal Yarncook has been playing really well as of late. Ramoni with the view. Look at that.
I just want to throw this out there. We have nine shots to their one. Yikes. Detroit's not a good team. Uh, but Nashville's buzzing, man. Detroit just got a power play goal with 55 seconds left of the period. A lot was distracting. That was a quick response! We're still in the first period. That's Coleman in again. It's 5-1. to one. 20 seconds after Detroit scores. We're rolling, baby. This is awesome. Detroit was well, you can see let it be taking place, but it was offside, so it's not going to count. Which stinks. Still gives me chills. It took me one look to know that this was offside, and so I don't really know what they're looking at here um, to make it think that it's onside. Uh, so that's interesting. That's for the coach of the challenge that last side carry the goal and the determined play was on side. Yeah, yep, that makes sense. Standing outside the uh, the pro shop where they call it Nashville locker room here. Um, but uh, so far, Nashville's looking real good. Uh, exactly what they've been looking like for the last several games. Uh, I want to put a few scenarios. See, by the time this video comes out, we'll already know the answer to a lot of these things. Um, but I want to throw a few scenarios out there. Nashville's in a position, if they end up holding on to this 4-1 lead tonight, they will go into Saturday uh, and Sunday with a chance at tying Chicago in points. All they gotta do is win twice in Chicago. And that's if Chicago uh, wins tonight. So Nashville's in a place here to make a run to go to the playoffs. Now, some people would say, don't try for it. Let's go for it. If they can win games and get hot, there is nothing like playoff hockey. And I think it would be super fun. We're gonna keep tracking things. We're gonna keep watching Nashville. But I think that they have the ability to make the playoffs. And I said they have to beat Chicago. Uh, Columbus has to lose some as well. But they're certainly in the race. I mean, once you're in, who knows what happens. Stanley Cup here, they were the worst team, the 16th best team to get in. And they just came together and unified. Right now, Nashville's super hurt. So who knows where they're gonna be, uh, but Tolvanen coming alive, Yarncrow coming alive. Those guys are the reason we're looking good right now. They're fun to watch. Can't wait to see how the rest of the, the game tonight goes and how the season plays out. We'll keep watching though. Underway in period number two. Actually, we're five minutes into period number two, but stressing out, there's some storms going on and, and my wife is at home and so, uh, that's kind of stressful for me. Didn't think there were going to be storms tonight. Uh, thought they were going to be earlier in the day. This cell popped up. So, but we're enjoying some hockey. Here's Yossi doing his thing, man. Nashville's obviously winning big tonight, um, but we've noticed Detroit is not good. Uh, I mean, we all knew this, but they turned the puck over like crazy. I mean, you just don't 
ever see them make plays that are solid. They're not strong in the puck. They're chaotic. Their passes are predictable and not accurate. It's just a really, like, they're not a good team. They're gritty, but they're, they're not good. And, and so that has helped this some. Detroit has beaten Tampa a couple times this year. So you never know. Tonight. This is awesome. Yeah. Building is loud, Morocco. 7 1 final. <laughs> so, we came wondering if the Preds would make the playoffs. The answer is yes. The playoff run starts now. Can they get in? Will they be clutch? They're playing to the potential that we thought they might have had. The forced youth movement led us to this. Um, and the process of seeing if they can make the playoffs, you see a four goal game from Rocco Gamati. Don't see that often in person. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. It hugely helps with uh, YouTube. And even leave a comment. Um, do you think that the Preds are gonna make the playoffs this year? Or do you think there's no chance? Thank you guys again for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day.